I personally am attracted more to the mythos of the southern leaf. The northern leaves, the ones that landed in Connecticut, like where Roger Sherman, that's uh, where the vernacular and all of their iconography looks a lot more like the headless horsemen of the Hassan. The Hassan. They were like the resurgence of the Tul of the Hashishin, but they are the French derivation of the Knights Templar. Like, this is three, four hundred years ago, like deeply committed people running away from persecution. Um, they would have reinvented themselves, but that whole like spooky, glow in the black and white, withering, um, Jack Sparrow character, Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow is Hassan. Um, the, the Headless Horseman, the Hassans, Germanic French people that weren't German or French. Um, when you get down to Louisiana is when they turn into the Harlequin with the weird red cords and all that. And that's when Johnny Ringo really was probably a good guy. Johnny Ringo was probably not even a bad guy. He was a guy that pretended to be a bad guy to set up a sheriff. But they were like Pinkertons. And that whole heritage of the law that settled the West is probably like the ancestry of the same. They have the same ancestors I do. They came from the same working class police families of Germany before there was any of those things. Like they were just war chiefs. But they were the same thing as a Bedouin war chief, meaning they were in charge of 50 people. They weren't really Vikings. They were just really good at organizing things in small dimensions because they were used to being chieftains and they were used to growing up in very small communities. The Puritans, the Puritans themselves are like uh, the Hassans. Like literally the Puritans could have been a cloak and dagger. Half the Puritans might have just been Templars on the run pretending to be Puritans. I have no idea that's all conspiracy. I just know that Baton Rouge speaks French and doesn't make any sense because nothing about that place was French except for a bunch of people that were pretending to be French that were from the Foreign Legion. A lot of French affectation in speech is people that only spoke French hiding how bad they were at English. Like most of the culture of Baton Rouge is based on people that spoke French trying to pretend they spoke English. So, like, that whole, like, crazy, like, melting pot world, I've been obsessed with that my whole life. Like, that, so my character of Alexander No One has always been the dollar store weird rogue, but he has a $90 belt on. <laughs> and those are obviously $150 jeans, but they're five years old. Like, that, that's been my motif the whole time like he has quality things that's a nice knife that guy's really mysterious I'm going to leave him alone that's I'm either going to ask questions or I'm going to leave him alone that's literally how they designed their entire whatever that's the weirdest part like that's the part that, that fascinates me is that a guy that dressed like a harlequin like Johnny Ringo could probably walk up to a Puritan and say I'm between St. John's do you know where the John is and know automatically whether or not they're on the same team it's just very weird but that's not conspiracy it's, it's people on the run so when you when I actually went and did law enforcement and studied the had studied and then taught even from a federal like the law enforcement from the air force when you start looking at it from that perspective you're like well how would the templars run away if they were an abused family and that's how i looked at it <laughs>